So in this video, we're looking at doubling at the bow. Uh, let's take a look at a question so we can see what doubling at the bow looks like. Now, doubling at the bow is a method of navigation which allows you to find out a distance to an object. Um, let's go through the question. A boat is travelling on a bearing of 70 degrees true, so something like this, at a speed of 18 knots. At 11 o'clock, it sees a lighthouse at a bearing of 30 degrees true. At 11.30, the angle at the bow has doubled. Now, that last sentence, we won't really understand that yet, but that's okay, we'll run through it now. Draw a diagram. Uh, it's a good idea to start with a boat. Now, I know that my boat's going to go in this direction because it's travelling at a bearing of 70 degrees true. So I'm going to start with my boat way back here somewhere. Go back even further. There's my boat at 11 o'clock. Now, my boat needs to travel on a bearing of 70 degrees true. It's a good idea to have yourself a protractor. I'm going to use this one here. Now, there's my north line up here. 70 degrees true. It's going to travel along that line. Now, it's going to need to put a compass rose in there so you've got some idea of what's happening. And then, draw that line. So our boat's going to travel along that line. Now, I'm just going to mark in there that that's 70 degrees. Now, it says at, a, at 11 o'clock, it sees a lighthouse at a bearing of 30 degrees. Now, that means that the boat was here, it's travelling in this direction, and it sees a lighthouse at a bearing of 30 degrees. Now, that means that our lighthouse, which I'm going to make green, our lighthouse is up here somewhere, Somewhere along this green line is our lighthouse. Now, I don't know where our lighthouse is yet, but it's on a bearing along that green line. Uh, let's continue. At 11.30, the angle at the bow has doubled. Let's talk about what an angle at the bow means. An angle at the bow is the angle from the head of the boat, so the front of the boat, which is the bow, the front of the boat to whatever you're looking at. So we were looking at a lighthouse. Now what's the initial angle at the bow? Find the initial angle at the bow. The initial angle at the bow is this angle in here. Now if it's 70 degrees to where we were heading, and if it was 30 degrees to the lighthouse, 30 degrees to the lighthouse. That means that this initial angle at the bow must be 40 degrees. So our lighthouse is somewhere here. It's at an angle of 40 degrees. Now, I'm going to pick another spot for my second point, my 11.30 point, somewhere along our heading. So at 11.30 point, which will make blue, let's put that there. 11.30. Now, it says, at 11.30, the angle at the bow has doubled. Now, you can see the angle at the bow initially was 40 degrees, so that means that at 11.30, our angle at the bow will have doubled to, 300, uh, to 80 degrees. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Now, this time, we take our bearing not from the north line, but we take our bearing from where we were going, because that's the bow, and we go 80 degrees from the bow. Now, that means the angle between there and there is 80 degrees. That is our doubled angle at the bow. Okay, so find the initial angle at the bow, that was 40 degrees. What is the angle at the bow at 1130? Double of whatever that was, which is 80 degrees. Now it says, how far did the boat go between 11 to 11.30? Now remember that distance equals speed times time. It was travelling at a speed of 18 knots. 
and it did it for half an hour. So that means it's gone nine nautical miles in that half an hour. That means that that distance from where we initially started to here is nine nautical miles. Now the payoff, the big magical, why don't we do this whole thing? What is the distance to the lighthouse at 11.30? Now, because of doubling this angle at the bow, what we've managed to create is an isosceles triangle, a triangle where this length and this length are equal. So we know that at 11.30, the distance from the boat to the lighthouse, which is here, is equal to whatever the distance is that we travelled, nine nautical miles. So the answer here, nine nautical miles. This is doubling at the bow.